morning book review tween hour. Today I'm going to be reviewing the book Lenny's Book of Everything. This was written by Karen Foxley who is an Australian author and lives in South East Queensland. She's also written the book for children A Most Magical Girl. Um, as you can see this book has won five awards which are a bit hard to read but it won the honour book of the Children's Book of the Year awards. It was the Australian's Independent Book in 2019. It was shortlisted for the Prime Minister's Literary Awards. It won the Queensland Literary Award. And in 2019, it was shortlisted for the Australian Book Industry Award. Lenny's Book of Everything is a contemporary book that brings up themes of bravery, loyalty, family and friendship. It's a really heartwarming book and it was a joy to read and super uplifting. Lenny's Book of Everything focuses on Lenny, who's a girl, and it also, it's from her point of view, but it also has Davy, who's her little brother, who has to deal with his rare type of gigantism. She has a best friend called CJ, who's pretty funny. She's really nice and she's always helping Lenny when Lenny needs it. Um, and she has, her mother who isn't often there because she has to work a lot to be able to pay for them and to put a roof over their heads and to have food for them to eat um, and you also have Mrs Gasper who is the next door neighbour but is fully involved in Lenny and Davy's life possibly more than their mother is and she loves to talk to Lenny and Davy and she looks after them when their mother's at work so it's like she's part of the family but she isn't and it's just really great to read about all these different characters and see them develop over the period of the books and see what happens to them in the book. The story um, revolves around Lenny and from her perspective also her family but especially her little brother Davy. And at the start of the book it's about when Davy was born and her mother had a dark feeling and that's basically she felt that something wasn't right. She felt she had a bad feeling about Davy being born. And throughout the book, you realise that Davy is growing a lot, way faster and way more accelerated than he should be growing. And he gets like kicked and rejected from pre preschools because of that, because they don't want an abnormally large child at their school to make them look different. So in this book, there's a recurring quote from Davy, which he says when anything amazing or remarkable or interesting or crazy happened and it's holy batman so in lenny's book of everything the only one dislike that i had about it was that i just wanted it to go for longer and it didn't and this is because i felt a really good connection to the characters because the author had written it so well she described the characters so well and put them in such great detail that you felt like you were there with them and you were sharing their experience and you wanted that to keep going. It's not often that you find an excellent book like that and when you do, you just don't want it to end. So that was my only dislike. So with Lenny's Book of Everything, I would recommend this for tweens and teens, mainly because it does have sad and heavy themes that I think that older audience would deal better with rather than the younger audience but it was still really uplifting and a joy to read. I would definitely give this book a 10 out of 10 for sure. I just loved the characters and how well written it was. It was an emotional roller coaster. It was sad, but also joyous and uplifting at points in time. And I loved how Lenny stood up for Davy and fought by his side through everything. And the family was so caring and just so well put together. I just loved it. and. Everything was amazing.